Okay, y'all. It is afternoon, and I'm dashing as of February 19th. Yeah, I still haven't adjusted these things, y'all. I just don't be having time. Because y'all know the only time I'm in the car is when I'm dashing. But I'm leaving Panera Bread. And I'm going to the Goodyear plant. Now this time, I had the wherewithal to actually search the address in advance. So now I know that I'm where I'm going. Versus the last time I was caught off guard. Whew. So here we go, y'all. Even though it's still on Ramsey Street, it's saying it's 10 minutes plus away. So I'm going to zip the bag on up. This is actually the first order of the day. Y'all about to hear GPS mouth in a moment. Head south on Ramsey Street toward Meadowcroft Drive. There Head north. right onto treetop drive take the next right onto treetop drive then turn left onto us 401 north turn left onto us 401 north ramsey street wait a minute so wait a minute i might not be going to the plant at all hold on i might be going Child, I Continue known. on US 401 North for four miles. I should have known it wasn't going to be that easy. I'm passing by a good year black tire place right now. I'm thinking, well, shit, they could have literally walked across the damn street. I said, well, maybe they working on some tires or so. I should have known it wasn't that damn easy. Especially since it said four miles. But you know, darn going, uh, DoorDash could have been off drastically in the mileage. It could have been 400 feet. Because it's literally 400 feet from the Panera Bread. But we're going to the official Goodyear plant. Not the little tire of Goodyear right here. That I, that's what I get for wishful thinking, honey. I got to be careful on this damn street. just like just seeing me drive or should I just start speeding up some of these clips yeah I, I won't speed this one up just so y'all can answer that question because like I said it'd be a lot of dead air where it's just like I'm not darn going talking to y'all at all because it really ain't nothing much to talk about I have not had anything really to talk about y'all and the stuff that I do I, I just go ahead and do a dedicated video for it But like I said, the day is young, honey. It's just 1230. I'm sure something liable to pop out. The hell? Bon 
Jungle Jangle's got a, a, a mascot. Lord, they got a dancing chicken outside, y'all. First it was the dancing cow, now it's the dancing chicken. Because this is my entrance right here. She she directed me all the way down the street, y'all. So let me go ahead and turn this off because GPS is about to cut up and in half a me mile, turn right. Way. See, she trying to tell me I'm going the wrong way already. I'll be back with y'all. Y'all ain't fucking with good you. How about now? I done got to the right side, right? That the last person had me at, honey. This person is all the way on the beginning. So I got to get back on the road, y'all. And you know, surprisingly, the security guard didn't come out not one time to darn go and inquire why I'm just standing there. Because I'm standing there right there at the, at the thing, right? Because I parked my car right here. Because I was like, I'm not about to go through this issue with trying to back all the way out and all this. So I parked my car on the side and I just walked up. Honey, the security guard paid me complete bills. I was like, well, damn. Now, what if I was, a, I, I guess they could see the DoorDash bag or whatnot, but still, it's like, didn't so much as wave or anything, honey. I mean, darn gone good. This, this is ridiculous. Now, in, my, in, in her defense, she did tell me I posted to turn at the first light, honey. But God damn it, I... That, that, that is partially my bad. But damn. This plan is just too confusing. Now, the first time I went too far down and I posted been up here. Now, this person is all the way on the down on the further downside. Thank God this darn section of Ramsey don't have a median. Or, or I would have been forced to go all the way further down Ramsey and then turn. Y'all see how far down I'm driving. This is how far across this plant is. Check. 
child. Can you imagine having to walk through this bus? I mean, just in a car alone, it took me a half a minute just to get fully across the whole stretch, and I'm going 40 miles plus per hour. right side y'all we got to see oh lord and it's a rear angle parking oh y'all know I'm bad at these types of parks y'all Visitor parking only violators will be told. Well, I ain't gonna be here that long. But I wanna know how would they know I wasn't a visitor or not? See, this is why I need the DoorDash stick on my darn gone cop. Okay, let me see okay. if I'm on the right side. Hopefully, y'all, this is the right side. Oh, you're Renee? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hold on, real quick. I accidentally went to the office. Oh, it's all right. Everybody does. Everybody does. That's why I put that note in there to come to the, um, to turn at the light. Yeah, we on this, so we on this end, and that's a long way to walk. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay, y'all, delivery complete. This is the parking lot. So now I know the opposite side, y'all. <laughs> so you got this side of the plant, then you got the opposite side. Lord Jesus. She was super sweet. I'm, I, You know what? And like I said, it was my bad. And it wasn't that far off, at least in a car. So I'm not going to put them on the ban list, honey. But I am going to be more cautious about future deliveries to this darn gone Goodyear plant from now on. See, I told you something to, something eventually will happen. Oh, this darn gone N95 darn gone thing up in here is super thick, y'all. Y'all probably couldn't hardly hear a word I was saying, but like I said, child i knew something interesting would happen eventually anyways let me go ahead and complete this delivery and get back on the road okay y'all i'm about to head to the house i've been sitting here at the walmart for 10 minutes ain't got no notification yet which is ridiculous because it says that it's busy and i think that just be a ploy to just get dashes on the road because it's like how busy is it if I darn girl can sit a whole 10 minutes, and then mind you, it took me about five minutes to even get back to this Walmart. So 15 minutes with no other, um, 
with no other doggone uh, sitting or anything. I can't even find the words, y'all. These doggone homeless folks distracting me with their shenanigans right in front of me. But, um, yeah, I ain't got no other doggone... Oh, shit, I done talked it up. Let me see, y'all. Let me see. Oh, Let me see. power of talking something up. <laughs> I was talking cold cash shit, talking about I ain't received the order in 15 minutes. Honey, they gave me an order going next door to Zaxby's. $7 for one mile. I swear, these, these darn things are good. Oh, and also the last person for the good year, she did tip me and it, it brought my total up to $10. So that was even better. So $10 going four miles and now $7 going one mile. That's almost as great as the um, order from yesterday where it was $8 going 0 0.8 miles. I swear, if they can do this more often, honey. But see, it be so few and far in between, though. It be having me wait in between times. But anyways, we about to go on and get in here, y'all. So I'll see y'all soon okay, as I get we're out. We're getting better and better with these times, y'all. But then again, I guess because this is technically due to my customer in four minutes because they, they live one street over. That's why they didn't have me waiting too excessively long. But usually I'm used to waiting in Zach's for a good five, ten minutes. But I was only in there for like three minutes. So my customer got, let me see. Uh, buffalo blue zell uh, wings fries and a 42 ounce drink which shout out to zaxby's i'm glad that they put the little thing on there so it doesn't splatter you know it won't be little driplets on top of the thing or in the car or whatnot especially when we in the south now it's cold now but when summertime hits and people want these orders left on the porch it's like if you have little juice splatters on the thing, it's like it can attract flies and bees and stuff. And it's like, mm, don't nobody want that. <laughs> you know, granted that, you know, the customer can wipe that off and they're gonna put the drink in another thing, but it's like, they shouldn't have to go through that. So I'm glad, you know, places like Zaxby's put the thing on. But anyways, let me go ahead and get to my customer and I will be back with y'all. Like I said, this is just phenomenal. As far as the restaurants and stuff, it's just DoorDash slipping up at this point. They're going to take him forever to give give me an order. They're going to, you know, to do. Okay. Just completed that within the five minute window. Thank goodness. Because you know DoorDash gives us five minutes from the due time and we're still considered on time. Oh, damn, they got a long walk today. Oh, my goodness. I was wondering where he was going, and the baby mama was looking out the window. Their trash can is way over there. Oh, my goodness. Y'all about to see what I see. Honey, this man has to walk the trash all the way. Oh, no. Now, that's doing too much. Oh, my goodness. Are you for real? Damn, that's a long distance, y'all. Anyways, another order none came in. Let me see what this one's talking about. 